Some good people, a story I'll tell of a great swamp in Florida, a place called Tate's Hell, 140 square watery miles with millions of skeeters and big yellow flies. And where all about the moccasins lie with glittering death in their beady eye, where bull gators beller and panthers squall. Now this is a place to be shunned by all. Big dogs and a puppy named Spart, an old long time shotgun, sharp barlow knife, that panther was sure have the chase of his life. A little past moon down, the dog struck the scent, through bramble lands, tie tie, a running tape went for hours and hours until it was dawn. Then Tate knew that he was a long way from home. He blowed through his gun barrel, the dogs did not hear. The panther had killed him, and now Tate felt fear. The sun was not shining, the mist it was deep. Oh, Lordy, Tate hollered. Rattler struck him above the bent knee. The lick was so hard that a sprawling he fell. This was a beginning of poor old Tate's hell. He opened his barlow and he grabbed him some moss. A cut he made one way, another across. He wrapped his leg tightly and tied it with string. Then sickness came on him, his body turned green. When Tate was discovered, these words he did tell. My name is old Tate, boys, I've just been in hell. These few spoken words were the last that he said. His spirit has left him. can dispute this legend of your how Tate lived a full week and then five days more and somehow crawled out near Carabell from the deep ghostly swamp that we know as Tate's Hell. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Gamble Rogers. <laughs>